everyone and welcome to week six of Summer Challenge 2021, Tales and Tales. This week's program is a little bit different than what we might be used to this summer. Um, and that is because it is a contest. So you guys are gonna be competing to win one grand prize. And yes, there will be a prize. I'm not going to tell you what it is. So if you have picked up your grab and go kit for this week, you may have noticed that there are some Rice Krispies in them. And you may be wondering why. Well, I am here to tell you that the contest is a Rice Krispie sculpture contest. Let's go into a little bit more detail of what that means. So first and foremost, the sculpture that you make needs to be of an animal to go along with this year's summer challenge theme. So it could be something like this goose, or it could be something like this cat. Now you're gonna get a few Rice Krispies in your grab and go kit, but there is a good chance that you might need to make or buy more. If you are looking to add some color to your Rice Krispie sculpture, then I would recommend buying um, the chocolate Rice Krispies if you are looking for like just a little bit of uh, color variations to do the um, like tan and brown. Um, or if you are looking to add some more bright colors to your Rice Krispies, um, then whenever you are making them, you want to add the food coloring to the melted marshmallows before you add the Rice Krispie cereal. You also can decide exactly how you want your sculpture to be. It can either be a 3D sculpture like this elephant, or it can be a 2D sculpture like this elephant. The choice is really up to you um, based off of how you want to proceed with your sculptures. If you are doing something that is more three-dimensional, um, that is freestanding, then you are probably going to want to use something other than Rice Krispies to make your shapes. Um, so those types of objects could be um, styrofoam balls, um, you could use pipe cleaners or wire to make things such as arms or legs or tails. Um, Anything like that is gonna help stabilize your Rice Krispies and make it a little bit easier to shape them. As far as shaping them goes, um, you are going to want to coat your hands in a non-stick cooking spray. I cannot stress this enough. So like spray, 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 spray. If you wanted more gloves, you could do that as well. Um, and then whenever you're shaping, the Rice Krispie is not going to stick to your fingers um, and make it difficult to shape it into whatever you're trying to sculpt. So definitely make sure that you are greasing your hands and it's going to be a little bit easier to shape your Rice Krispies as they are cooling. Um, so if you're making your own Rice Krispies, I'm going to recommend doing your shaping pretty soon after they um, are all mixed together. Okay, so you followed all those tips and tricks and you have created your sculpture. How do you enter? Let me tell you. So once your sculpture is finished, you are going to want to take a picture of it and email it to me at tparker at bcfls.org. I will be accepting submissions between Wednesday, July 26th and Wednesday, August 2nd. So that is going to give you guys seven days to work on your sculptures. On August 3rd, a winner will be chosen by the library staff here. We'll do a vote, and then I will announce the winner that same day on our social media accounts. So make sure you are following our Facebook and Instagram. After the winner is chosen, I will contact them directly to tell them how to pick up their prize. I wish you all the best of luck in this contest, and I hope you have a lot of fun and get creative with it. Make sure you check out this week's Beanstack activity, which is to write a poem about summer in your journals. And our next Grab and Go kits will be dropping next Monday, and our last program of the summer will be dropping next Wednesday. I hope to see you all then, and until then, happy summer challenge and good luck.